for our products and i'm sorry to hear about your disappointment right now it has given a detailed email that we can send now either you can use this prompts 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 are the most talked about thing in the ai world but also the most overlooked one most people think prompts is write whatever comes to your mind like write an email write an essay instagram caption or something like that but is that all there is to it welcome to day 137 of the thousand days of no code challenge trust me we have all judged or stopped using an ai tool just because it didn't give us the output that we expected but have you ever thought maybe it was not the tool and it could be because of the way we prompted you see ai tools are not perfect they are only as good as the instructions you provide to them so having the right prompt that's everything and no you don't have to sit through hours of long videos to understand what is prompt engineering or buy some expert packs of prompting today we're going to explore a tool that will make prompt writing super simple meet on topic an ai tool that will take your simple sentence and convert that into a well-structured optimized ai prompt let's get started all right let's try this go to console.anthropic.com and log in with your google account or user email id to log in i'll go with google simply a few clicks it'll ask for the full name and you can also give whatever you want this to show you have to confirm this click on continue and it asks whether you're an individual or an organization let me click on individual now you have a lot of options here like write a prompt from scratch generate a prompt improve an existing prompt get api keys so this particular thing is to improve your prompt using apis okay where the users can give a sentence on your portal and then you use an api to make the prompt better right so we'll go with uh, this one write a prompt from scratch and this will basically open a window where you have the prompt over here so you have to write a very simple prompt over here and then click on generate prompt let's see how this all happens so what i'm going to do i'm going to write a prompt which i have already copy and this is write an email response to a customer complaint offering a solution right and whatever prompt we have to give right that is the detailed prompt we will use generate prompt to generate that so generally system prompt is when you want to tell what the system needs to do right and user prompt is what we as a user will give right now in this case what we will do is we will add this particular prompt here write an email response to a customer complaint offering a solution so to generate a detailed prompt we can click on generate prompt here and describe your task like what exactly do we need right and i've added a very simple prompt which is write an email response to a customer complaint offering a solution right and then i will click on generate okay so basically it starts with you are tasked with writing a professional email response to a customer complaint offering a solution to their issue follow these instructions carefully to craft an appropriate and effective response right and then first read the customer's complaint which is added over here and you will be writing on behalf of the following company company name and then the customer's name is the customer's name goes here right before drafting your response, carefully analyze the complaint to identify the main issues the customer is experiencing, any specific requests or demands made by the customer, the tone and level of frustration expressed in the complaint. So it has given a detailed prompt, right? I'll click on continue. And what this does is it will add the prompt over here. Now closely observe, these are the variables, right? So we'll have to change the variables for us to get the output, okay? So what I'll do is, here is the complaint so i'll add the complaint here sample complaint product from you on 28th of january 2024 and i would to return back as good one so complaint i've already copied so i'm going to paste it and the complaint is i have purchased the product from you on 28th jan 2025 and i would like to return it back as this is not a good one please help me with the return with refund right now the company name let's say abc abc cosmetics customer name let's say Tushar. right i'll click on run so you can see that after analyzing the complaint i see the customer wants to return a product purchase recently because they found it unsatisfactory 
They are specifically requesting a refund and assistance with the return process. The tone suggests disappointment, but isn't overly aggressive. Email Subject Regarding your return request for ABC Cosmetics purchase. Dear Vishal, Thank you for reaching out to us regarding the product you purchased on January 28, 2025. I sincerely apologize that the product did not meet your expectation. At ABC Cosmetics, we take pride in the quality of our products and I'm sorry to hear about your disappointment. Right? Now, it has given a detailed email that we can send. Now, either you can use this particular platform to generate the email or if you've already got used to some other platform, okay and you want to use that for your purpose you can also copy the prompt from here and use it in that platform also you can click on improve prompts okay and it says use cloud to optimize your prompt right so you can also do that and if there is something missing you can also add it over here it's way more accurate detailed and personalized than compared to a very simple prompt where you can say write a response email. You have done the similar thing here as well. You have given a very simple prompt but then you asked it to generate a detailed prompt for the simple prompt that you had. And like mentioned before, if you are a developer, they also have APIs for this. Which means if you have your app and your users are prompting, then you can use this API to enhance the prompt and get the results which will be way more better. So, instead of wasting time with half-cooked output with very basic prompts, use Anthropic to enhance the prompt and get better output. Try it once and see how it completely changes the results you start getting. And hey, if you found this helpful, please share it with somebody who has always kept blaming AI instead of their own prompting. That's it for today and I will catch you in the next one.